Hello there, Simon here from the Tudor Group and I want to make this video to give you an insight of what I have planned for 2021. This is basically my plan to get out of the coronavirus situation and if any of you have had issues in the past with perhaps foreign ownership, affordable properties because of the outrageous price of the Thai baht now, and you've also had renting problems because of the hotel laws, this video could be for you. Keep watching. We've been stuck in this coronavirus situation now for a year. I mean, what a ridiculous situation. Every time I tried to re-kickstart, remove, to try something new, to try to get relaunched on the construction, there was just a permanent block. I mean, we'd move in one direction and the government would close it. We couldn't get our building materials, our customers were on furlough schemes or they've lost their jobs back in their home countries. Our Thai customers, we can't get them through the mortgage applications. I mean, this last year, has, from a, a business point of view, has been a total disaster. And it didn't seem to matter what I did, there was just no way out and I just wasn't in control of this situation. So I've been sitting there just scratching my head. How on earth are we going to do this? How on earth are we going to relaunch? And then, just by pure accident, surfing on the internet one day, I discovered this thing called the tiny house movement. You see, we've had a problem in the Western world for a long time where the property prices have reached such a high level now that first time buyers cannot buy. And they've been starting to move into what we call at home the static caravans. And they've been living on the resorts far, far cheaper than actually getting themselves onto the property ladder of buying their traditional houses. And then I started looking a little bit more into this. What is this tiny house movement? And the biggest movement I can find out there is actually in Australia. And what people are doing, now we would call them caravans, but what Australia was doing was physically building a house on a trailer, movable. Far, far cheaper, obviously, to get yourself onto that property ladder, but a sidestep from traditional property, this was taking you in a different direction. And I started to apply that to the laws of Thailand. The laws of Thailand are very much, well, we don't want you to buy the land, but there's nothing against you buying the house. So if we suddenly make that house mobile, that you could move it off of a piece of land, well, you've bought your house, you haven't bought the land, and then you comply to the Thai laws. And then I started to think about it, well, hold on a minute, people are going to want to live in some sort of village situation, just like we build our housing estates and stuff in the past. And I thought, well, if I set up a resort as well as actually constructing and building these tiny houses, then I've got my next housing project. People can buy, park them onto the resort, and we've got a mobile village, a complete mobile village, and it all complies to the Thai laws. And then I started to think about the hotel laws. Well, these hotel laws have been stopping people in the recent years from being able to rent on a daily and nightly basis. If you've bought yourself a condominium or a house or you even have a back room in your house, you have to rent that now on a long-term basis. And it's all because of the recent hotel laws that have been implemented. They've actually been applied. So if you put this whole thing together, you've got a mobile house, you've got a resort, and because of the resort and the resort having a license, you would be able to rent back on your daily and nightly um, situation, just like you used to in the old days. So I started to put this together, and I've started to do a lot of research in the last few months. So we're gonna to put together the factory for the production of the tiny houses. We're already out there with the land plots, putting them together for the resorts. And of course, we'll set up the licenses in due course so people can rent. So this is a real solution here. So if you have had that issue recently or in past years, when you've looked at the Thai ownership laws of properties, when you've looked at the affordable housing, etc., and when you've looked at the rental ability in the laws of Thailand, this, I believe, really can be a true answer. 
So what exactly is a tiny house? Well, instead of me talking about it, come and have a look. I've taken some clips together from a, a series on television that's been out there in Australia, and I've pieced all that together in my editing just to give you a view of what a tiny house looks for. And I'll pick you up on the other side and give you a bit more information. Housing affordability clearly is an issue and if things keep going the way they're going it just gets worse and worse and worse so change has to happen. So something like this becomes an answer to a growingly impossible problem. People like us being an example of someone in the middle ground, you know, it isn't tiny tiny but it's still affordable and it's still lovely but it can make a difference. So that's important to us. Here's a quick montage of some of our designs coming online 2021. So there you go. Now you know what a tiny house is. It is literally a house that's been built on a trailer. Now this is not to be confused with the touring caravans. Obviously these tiny houses, yes they're mobile, but they're basically from one resort to another. They're not designed to go touring all the way around Thailand. If you want to go into the touring caravans, then that also is a project that I'm going to be launching. Now. Obviously, our European caravans are not really going to be suitable for the roads over here in Thailand. 
you're going to be looking for something a little bit more robust because I know for all my years of being in Thailand, one minute I'm on a super tarmac motorway and the next minute I find myself in the middle of a rice field. So for me, I've, uh, I like to go for the four wheel drive pickup trucks. Of course, that's the perfect thing for towing the big touring caravans, the off-road caravans. You just take a look at this. So basically putting everything all together there to sort of summarize what I'm doing, what my plans are for 2021. We are gonna be launching, first of all, the factory, which goes into production for the tiny houses. So anybody will be able to make their order and actually buy these tiny houses. Now there's gonna be two main designs on, on, on offer. One of them is towable by a four wheel drive pickup truck. So something like the Ford Ranger, for example, will be able to pull those. The second and larger design has got to be pulled by the HGVs. Okay, so you've got to consider that because the whole idea of the tiny house is that you go from one resort to the other. It is not that you go touring all over the countryside. That brings me then to the next part. We're going to be setting up the resorts all over the place, literally all over the place. So this is your parking and you will be able to park and live on the resort like you would on a normal housing uh, village housing project. And you'll also come under the resort license if you want to rent them. So that's also your possibility. So there's the two items, productions of these uh, tiny houses plus the resorts. The third item is we're going to start producing also the touring caravans. So if you find that is more in your line, then you can contact me about that as well. So if anybody wants more information on this subject, whether it's the tiny houses, the resort or the touring caravans, you can contact me on info or sales at tudorgroupthailand.com. Okay, that's sales at tudorgroupthailand.com. I've got a lot of designs waiting. You can go through the, the designs and the ideas with me. Some of these will be bespoke because I recognize that one design is not gonna suit anybody. So there is a limit on this, but we will be able to design to what you actually want. So as I said, if you want more information, you wanna make an order, you wanna see more background into what's going on, then email me at sales at tudorgroupthailand.com. So, I'll see you on the other side. The showpiece is on the way. It's being produced now. And you know the nice thing about this? You won't just have to come to me to have a look at the showroom. I'm gonna be able to drive the showroom to you. Oh, and of course, before I go, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because there's a lot more information on this subject coming soon. I'll see you then, and I'll see you there.